What's going on guys, Matt here, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, if you are a you know, regular of this channel, or you've been around for a while, then you know that I, I like the Assassin's Creed um, game series, and I've played through every single one of them. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, because uh, ever since technically um, Assassin's Creed 3, I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any more at launch because the launch of Assassin's Creed 3 and the game itself really kind of discouraged me from playing the games that much or the newer ones. Um, I did get Unity Day 1 but was completely, uh, you know, nail in the coffin, last straw that broke the camel's back, I'll never get an Assassin's Creed Day 1 again. Um, unless there's some random Assassin's Creed game that comes out with Ezio in it, like a newer one, then I'll get it. Uh, other than that, um, it takes me a while to get to these because I don't play day one. So I wait for them to go on sale or get a gift card and stuff. So this was on sale for the winter sale and I did have a $20 gift card. So I got it. Um, so I guess I can't really complain for a free game. So um, I heard this wasn't as bad as Unity, but I heard it was still pretty bad. Um, so we will find out. So enough talk, let's get right into the game. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to talk about um, Assassin's Creed and stuff like that um, while playing. I still haven't seen the movie as of recording this. Um, I really want to, I just haven't had time, so hopefully at some point I can watch it. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Ben. Oh, so she's officially back. I've got a picture. Um, I... They had that Abstergo logo um, over like Germany or something. I wonder if that's going to be the next game. But they always tease locations like that and actually never fucking do it. Oh, Sean is back too. Look how different he looks too. So upgraded graphics will do. Audio seems to be kind of low. Um, I'll turn it up once we're done with the cutscene. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry, twin assassins who operated in Victorian. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. Whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Staric, and he intends to rule the world. He has a fuckboy haircut. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, the queen. and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for 
kingdoms. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London controls the world. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Easy! May the Queen guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. E.B. Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. I have tested the gameplay, so I've I've already ma um, changed the settings to how I see fit. How long does he intend to go on like this? He's disrupting the other workers. When I first opened the game, I w the game was at like finally at this point was started to run at like 20 FPS. It's like oh come on, are you serious? Another game that's not optimized? But for some reason, it fucking turned the game up to 4K. And I don't even have a 4K monitor, so I don't even know how that was possible. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's turn the sound up a little bit. Uh, let's turn the voice up so we can hear it. Oh man, it's going to be weird playing this with a keyboard and mouse. Okay. So, so far the game does, after I've optimized the settings, the game does run pretty good for my rig. Um, but we are, aren't outside in the open public yet, so we'll see how it goes. What the fuck, dude? What's all this? Which one of you is responsible? Ah! It's Son of God. Who are you? The sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. Run along, Elm. Oh, shit. Oh, 
shit. So can I just... Okay. So now you don't have to like hold one button and press another to block them apparently. You can just hit, press E, so that's pretty nice. Okay, now we're out in the open. Obviously this isn't the most texturally um, texturally intensive environments yet, but we're holding good at 88 frames right now and we're on um, Almost max settings. And that And that was one thing that I really did love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. High CPU usage. That was weird. And that was one good thing about um, Assassin's Creed Unity. It had the uh, down climbing system, or the fast, um, the fast falling system or whatever you called it. Hopefully that CPU usage thing doesn't fuck up my audio. Oh, there it is again. High CPU usage. Um, high CPU usage. Um, one second here. All right. So hopefully, problem is fixed or will be fixed on uh, OBS. I turned my uh, encoding to NVIDIA rather than or my uh, NVIDIA graphics card rather than my um, rather than my uh, processor. Oh, I punched his fucking hat off! Okay. Okay. Liking the combat system a little bit. So far. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. 
tree should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Oh shit, why well, didn't... Okay. Sure, whatever. Oh, this is... Wait, what? Fuck off, I dodged him. You better not take out that pistol, motherfucker. Sudden. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years. And will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon. You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. 